Hi guys, so this is my comparison review of the Anycubic Cobra Neo and the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. I purchased both these printers myself on Amazon about a week ago. I've had a chance to do a few prints of both of them and I wanted to provide my review. These are both entry level FDM printers that are advertised as being great for beginners. Uh, at the time when I uh, bought these printers, I am buying from Amazon Canada. They were the same price in Canada. I think one of them had a coupon that allowed them to be the same price. I just checked today and on Amazon there's about a $50 difference between the two with the Anycubic being $50 cheaper than the Elegoo. Uh, this one today on Amazon was $150 and this one was $200. Again, this may change uh, depending on when you look, uh, but they're both obviously entry level printers not too much of an investment at the beginning to be able to get into the 3D printing world. Um, so starting off with the unboxing and setup, so both of these printers do require some assembly. They don't come fully assembled, uh, which I do think is a negative for a beginner printer, but obviously allows these printers to be on the cheaper side because they can ship them in smaller boxes. So the top part of both of these printers was off and flat and I had to assemble both of them. They were actually both had very similar assembly um, sort of um, steps. I found that the assembly process took me about 20 to 30 minutes for both of these models. Um, it was pretty straightforward for both. The instructions were good for both brands. Um, I do give the Elegoo a little bit of the edge because I found that they had a little bit less steps, a little bit less screws to insert, but overall it was essentially the same process, getting um, this top frame on, making sure that everything was tightened up, making sure that the uh, spool was installed for the Elegoo. There's a filament detector which is a nice feature to let you know, you know, if your filament runs out, then it'll stop printing and pause and allow you to uh, insert more filament and continue your print. But overall, I would say that uh, between the two printers, essentially, the assembly process was fairly easy, straightforward, and I thought the instructions were good. The next part was the leveling process. This is really important for getting a good 3D print is to have a good leveling process. Both of them have an auto leveling feature, um, but I do definitely give the Elegoo the uh, edge over the Anycubic when it comes to the leveling process. The Elegoo made it much more obvious and straightforward uh, when it came to adjusting the Z-axis offset. And so it was clear with the instructions on the touchscreen how to um, adjust your Z-axis so that your nozzle would be lined up properly with your print bed, which is the most important part um, because otherwise you're going to have a print that is not sticking to your bed and you're going to end up with just like a lump of filament. So with the Anycubic, it wasn't really clear how to adjust the Z offset. I eventually watched a video online from Anycubic on leveling, which was helpful and I wish that, that I had done that in the first place, but their written instructions weren't obvious. And so I ended up having to kind of fiddle with the Z offset and kind of just keep printing until I got a good first layer. So I didn't like that because it wasn't easy out of the box, whereas the Neptune 3 Pro was easy out of the box. Both of these printers come with a flexible bed. So both have this flexible PI coated bed, which I think is absolutely essential for a beginner 3D printer. I don't think you should be looking at a glass bed if you're a beginner and you just want something easy. Flexible bed is the way to go. So much easier to get your models off and not have to worry about them breaking or cracking. Love the flexible bed and both of them come with that, so they're tied in that regard. In terms of the control screen, Neptune 3 has a magnetic touch screen. It's a touch screen. Found both of them have pretty obvious, easy to follow uh, screen instructions, but I do like the Neptune 3. I like how this is detachable. I like how uh, it has the touch screen versus having to use the toggle with the uh, Anycubic uh, Cobra Neo. So again, I'll give Elegoo uh, advantage there. So in terms of out-of-the-box print quality, 
I do have to give the major advantage here to the Elegoo printer. Uh, so I've printed a few things with both printers now, and I tried to print things using the exact same filament, and um, I used the settings that were uh, published uh, by the manufacturers of these printers for the um, filament and for the slicer using uh, Cura slicing software. So I printed out these uh, cute little cats, so they're like little hollow cats. You can open up, you can put a little uh, treat in there, and they have these cute little faces. So this one was printed with the Anycubic Cobra Neo. You can just see it's not, it's not polished. It has some obvious lines here. It's the face, the design, it's just not quite polished. It's not totally smooth. Look inside, again, that's not polished in there. It's not smooth. It actually doesn't fit well together. So it's supposed to just fit nicely together, but it doesn't, which obviously means that it's just a little bit off. Uh, this is compared to the Elegoo, uh, which printed a much smoother, you can just see the inside here, that looks beautiful. It snaps together easily, the face looks better. There's, um, you know, some slight imperfections, but overall a much smoother, much more polished finish. and. Uh, Again, this is using the exact same filament, so it's just different colors, but it's the same brand. I also printed these pencil holders, which are I'm giving away for my son's birthday party. So again, uh, these are just kind of boxes. So you can see this one was printed with the Elegoo, and this one was printed with the Anycubic. And you can just see there's just way more lines, way more imperfections on the Anycubic print looks a lot smoother and more polished with the Alagoo printer. I have tried to make some adjustments. I went on and tried to adjust the printer profile and my Cura software. I've tried to calibrate and re-leveled and I still really can't get the greatest print. So definitely out of the box print experience. I'm giving, I think that extra $50 is totally worth it. I think you're going to get better quality out of the box for the Neptune 3 Pro printer. Of course, both printers are affordable. You are going to be able to print some cool basic prints. We pr I probably will be able to get some improvement in this print quality with a little bit more calibration, but that's not something that you want to do if you're a beginner and you're just wanting a really great out-of-box experience. Currently, obviously, the Anycubic is running. You can hear that it's not too loud in terms of noise. LU is the same, say that they're both completely comparable in terms of noise. One extra feature that the Elegoo has is the filament detector, which does, as I mentioned, let you know if you run out of filament and will pause the print and allow you to refill before without having to completely redo. Both uh, printers use a micro SD card for uh, uploading your uh, sliced files. And so I find that, I, I personally don't like the micro SD card. It's not easy to get into my computer. I have to use the USB converter and my computer doesn't have a USB port. So I have to switch that to USB-C. Personally, I don't like it. I would much prefer a USB or USB-C port. I also don't like that you can't take out the micro SD card while the print is going. Um, that seems to stop the printer. It doesn't seem to have its own internal storage, uh, which I don't love because I'd like to be able to go upstairs and get my next print onto my micro SD card while my current print is printing. So those are just a few negatives uh, with both printers. But I think overall for the price, you're getting really good value, uh, especially with the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. So when it comes down to it, I'm definitely gonna recommend the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. Again, this video is not sponsored. I bought both of these printers with my own cash and I uh, really feel that the Elegoo product uh, is winning this time. I'll report back if I am able to get some changes to the Anacubic to make that print quality a little bit better. Thanks for listening. And don't forget to like and subscribe.